I have something sort of urgent that I got to get out there, which is the stroke risk that one might take on when attempting something that I do not recommend, which is the sugar diet. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I am a doctor of biomedical engineering. I frequently talk about all things physical medicine, human physiology, sports performance, and nutrition. And today I have something sort of urgent that I got to get out there, which is the stroke risk that one might take on when attempting something that I do not recommend, which is the sugar diet. So I already made a video about this. The sugar diet's really dumb. When you look at what sort of things happen to your specifically triglycerides, when you shift to a high carbohydrate diet. Now, the biggest problem with the sugar diet is that you're eating all carbohydrates and clearly you're gonna have a lot of carbohydrates if that's your only fuel source. And now there's different choices you can make when it comes to carbohydrates. If it's all fruit and vegetables, there's a lot of fiber there and that slows down the digestion of the sugars. So most of the articles that are talking about how you have to be careful, like when they'll say like too much sugar is indicated for high risk of stroke, they're actually specifically talking about added sugars or straight sugars or processed sugars. They're not necessarily talking about fruits and vegetables, though carbohydrates are all the same once digested. The speed of digestion is specifically a problem, but the amount of added sugars, like for those who want to try the sugar diet and they're just like, you know, eating a couple candy bars a day, you're really putting yourself in a bad spot from a cardiovascular health perspective. There's a number of articles about it. It's even made it to the mainstream. Even in the mainstream media, it's actually being reported on correctly for, for a nice change of pace. Don't do this. This is a terrible idea. And you're really just rolling the dice for something sort of silly. There's better ways to get lean, prioritize protein, get your appetite down by prioritizing protein and then you can be super healthy. And of course, protein helps you replicate your cells, helps you build muscle, gives you better skin because the regenerative process of creating new skin cells becomes amplified with the higher level of protein. And of course, if you wanna add essential amino acids to that, that's phenomenal. You will do even better by doing that. Really, seriously, skip the sugar diet. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow. I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.